What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front, and if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today, we're going to show you how to create your own custom categories and how to use those categories for your benefit in SharePoint calendars. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. All right, let's get the timer. Let's jump right in. First thing we're going to do is we're going to bounce over here into the site content so we can see what's all living in this site. We want to go make an edit to the events. We'll take the shortcut, go right to settings, and we're going to find the category column, which is right here. And you're going to figure out what categories you want. And if you want to add a new category, you're just going to add it just like that. Ba bam And then you're going to say, OK, and you just added yourself a new category to that SharePoint category. Just that simple. All right, now let's go ahead and slow it down and take it step by step and show how we can utilize categories to maximize on our calendars and our views and pages in SharePoint. Before we do that, we can't go without saying thank you to everyone watching. If you've watched in the past, thank you so much. If you haven't had a chance to like and subscribe right now, go ahead and do that and hit the bell notification so you can know as soon as new stuff is available. All right, so let's talk about this a little bit. We got the old school calendar. That's right. It's classic. So if you go in here to the events calendar, I mean, that's old school. We got tabs, tabby tab, tabs, all that jazz. OK, well, first, let me just show you how we arrive at being able to edit the categories. We're going to go back into site contents and we're going to find the calendar that we want to add this category to or modify the categories. Now, if you happen to get to the calendar and it looks like this, you got to go to calendar tab and then you got to go to uh, list settings. And from there, you'll see, you know, you have access to the columns here and category is a default column for uh, any events list. And these are the default choices that you're going to see. Uh, but then obviously, please like and subscribe or not uh, default. So you go in and you just type whatever you want on each line, or you can delete these if you want to delete the default ones. Do whatever makes your heart happy. I just wouldn't mess with a bunch of other stuff. All right. And then we click OK. And so now when you go out to your web part, let's say that you are showing that calendar uh, in a web part. And the way we do that, by the way, just in case you're wondering, is we go into edit mode. We look at the default events web part or we add a new one. We can edit and then we can choose the events list on this site. All right. Now, why might this be helpful to have categories? Well, maybe you want to show events from the same calendar, but like group them together, you know, in a an events web part. So, for example, I could say here, let's 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 get some uh, some test data here. Let's just go right in. We're going to go right in here and see if I can do something to make this go quick. So we're going to go and we're going to look at, I want to see it in a list. Um, oh, here we go. I don't work in the uh, classic all that much. So there we go. So we got, are we going to let me go to, do we not have, oh, edit. There we go. Quick edit. That's what I wanted. Okay. Do we have category? We don't have category here. Wow, this is getting really involved. If we modify the view and add the category column, wow, this is more than you bargained for, isn't it? Let's get some test data in here, which, you know, normally you would bake this in before you start the tutorial. All right, so we're going to go edit and we'll say, and then we can pick, you know, yeah, we just, just anything. Test data, yo. Just test data. <clears throat> And the category will go that and then category will go that and we're going to stop there. OK, so now we go back to the home and now we're going to add some events, right? We can even edit this existing event. I believe if we click on this. We can edit this and turn it into please like category. Please like. OK, well, maybe that's what was already was already like that. All right, cool. We'll go back to the home and we're going to add another event which we already did actually. Uh, we're just gonna call it test three and give it a, another category of birthday. All right, there we go. Now we got all sorts of test stuff in here now. Now let's say we wanted to see, we wanted to see a web part that had uh, the please like events and another web part that had the and subscribe events. So then we would go back in here, we would edit, 
we've got the one web part already so we can edit that web part uh, and say what category so we're picking the events list on this site which gives us a choice of all the events lists that live on this site we're going with events and then we can pick the category so we want all the please likes and so it trims it to just those and then we say good now we can just burn a copy of this instead of you know adding a new we can just burn a copy of this right here with the duplicate web part boom then we go in and we edit this web part and filter it according to and subscribe and I don't know it's not showing up but it will eventually we're gonna make sure the and subscribe date is well into the future that is saying oh yeah all right let's go edit and then we'll say there okay now let's go to the home yeah, I bet y'all were screaming at the screaming it's because it's not upcoming so there you go so we have all of these items events in the same calendar with different categories and you can have several different views so that you can uh, show all of those similar types of events in one web part or in multiple web parts all right hope this helps if you want more on calendars go ahead and check out this playlist and you can get some more let me know if you have questions keep doing the best you can with what you got remember sharepoint rocks and so do you we'll see you next time